Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. In today's video, we're doing our uh, early Christmas special. As you guys know, it's four days till Christmas. Got the hat on, got the Felice Nave Dot, uh, you know, Christmas sweater on, which actually used to be hers, so. Um, but I got little Miss Rudolph over here. And um, look at her nose, shining so bright over there. All right, if you want to take that nose off, you can. It's I probably can't really worry. uncomfortable. Take it off. All right, guys. So I said I would do a giveaway of uh, this gun holster, and I am. I know I said I'd do it the week of Christmas, but y'all have just been busy with work and everything. But I have decided the winner, and the winner of the Safari Land gun holster is Mitch Gonya. Uh, Gonya. I hope I pronounced your uh, name right, but Mitch. Hit me up on YouTube comments. I'll give you my personal email so you can send me your address. And uh, I will get this out to you. Now, I don't know exactly when it's going to arrive because I've got stuff in the mail. We've all got stuff in the mail that we've ordered that still isn't here yet for Christmas or just stuff I've ordered. And um, But we're going to talk about our most favorite Christmas memories. Favorite gifts. Gifts maybe we didn't exactly like. Just things like that. So, uh, do you want to go first? Um, one of the gifts I was given um, as a gag gift from my parents was a box of Breathe Right strips. Story behind that was because I got into the first aid kit and I would put the band-aids across my nose like that. And I'm like, look, Mom, I can breathe. <laughs> now, if y'all know me, I hate to exercise. So, uh, when I was like 14, Santa Claus which was actually my mom and dad, I think. I'm still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> Santa Claus is real. Got me a weight bench, and that thing held more books than anything, <laughs> you know. What is one of your most favorite Christmas presents that you ever got? That's a tough one. I would probably say that my favorite uh, Christmas gift was um, stuff that my parents gave me from China before they adopted me. I'm trying to think about what my favorite Christmas gift was because I got a 22 rifle when I was like like 10 or 11. I got a BB gun, bow and arrow, got all kinds of stuff. But I think one of my most favorite gifts, and I don't have a picture of this, but my parents did re-gifting one year, and my grandpa made a um, lamp out of sh like bullets like 223 casings and a bunch of other stuff and i don't know if they were actual bullets or if it was a kit but i have that lamp at home and that reminds me the next time that i go home i probably need to get that bring it to my mom's that uh, now i just remember that um but that was probably one of my uh favorite christmas gifts i think is when they re-gift a lot of the stuff that my dad had passed down to him you know what was your worst Christmas gift then? Because you didn't say that one, did you? I did. The weight bench. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not here today. You don't listen very well. Clean them little elf ears out right there and listen. <laughs> I got new Q-tips. Oh, there you go. Um, should I tell that story that I always talk about? Sure. All right. So, funny Christmas story. I was 18, okay, and me and my brothers, I have two brothers, River and Andrew, we were all shaking our gifts to see what we had, and one of my brothers, they were, like, they were probably like this big, one of my brothers shook a gift and goes, I got an elephant, and the other one shook it and says, I've got a giraffe, and I shook mine and said, I've got crabs, and my mom goes, I hope to God you don't have crabs, and she started <laughs> laughing. <laughs> well, do you have any funny Christmas stories like that? Um, no, for the most part, um, pretty much playing, uh, games on Christmas Day, my mom is very competitive, so anytime she would, like, lose a turn or something, you, like, screw her over in a game, she will yell at the top of her lungs, lungs, <laughs> dang you to heck, but <laughs> she did not say those two words, so. What exactly did she say? I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but, um, you know, probably one of my saddest Christmas memories is my Grandpa Harold, who was my Grandma Rita's, like, 
second hu third husband third husband passed away of cancer the day after Christmas and uh, that's not something I normally talk about but he did December 26 2005 he passed away of cancer um, you got any sad stories for Christmas no not really no. I don't remember any sad stories all right, guys. Well, this was just our little uh, early Christmas special. So, Mitch Gagne, however you pronounce your last name, um, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not really sure exactly how you pronounce it, but hit me up on YouTube comments, and I will get this Safari Land, um, you know, pistol holster out to you. And hope you all have a very merry Christmas. Remember, Jesus loves you. And I hope you all got to see that Christmas star. I think it was on the 18th. I personally didn't get to see it, but. Actually, yeah. the star of Bethlehem actually um, appears tonight. It appears tonight. Oh, that's cool. Y'all should go out and check that. Check that out. We should go outside after a while. It's supposed to be cloudy. Hopefully, it appears. Yeah, that'd be cool. First time in like eight hundred years. Merry but y'all remember, Jesus loves you. Okay, and we will see you guys on the next one. And I hope y'all have a very merry Christmas. Thanks for watching.